So this is a video that I wish I had five years ago. We're going to talk about the evidence behind certain of the hormones that people use to induce labor nurture. We're going to talk about castor oil, pineapples, dates, sex, nipple stimulation, evening primrose oil, and raspberry leaf. I remember when I was expecting my first child and my doctor had me booked for an induction. I really did want to get a medical induction. So I was busy scouring the internet to find out how to get labor started naturally. Luckily for me, labor started naturally that same night, but it was a very confusing exploration because I didn't have time to get into the science behind things. And there was such contradictory information on the internet about whether certain methods were safe to try, whether they were not safe to try, or how exactly to try. This is the second video in the pregnancy series. So if you've not already watched the first video about due date, please go and check that one out. First things first, I'm not a medical professional and this is not medical advice. Please don't take it as such. Speak to your doctor or your healthcare professional to advise you if you're planning to induce yourself naturally. And I shall mention what's safe to try at home or what doesn't have negative effects versus what you should not, not try by yourself. Before we get into it, I'm going to just clarify a few things. So when I talk about natural induction, there are two things that these methods generally cover. One is ripening the cervix, that's getting the cervix ready for labor. And the second is starting or enhancing of the contractions. Let's dig in. First on our list is castor oil. Castor oil is a really powerful laxative. From what I've read, it seems like it's really disgusting. And one of the biggest negative side effects of castor oil is that it caused nausea. So most of the research participants reported experiencing nausea. And this is based on a couple of different research studies that have been done. So despite castor oil causing nausea, there is scientific evidence to show that it does help to induce labor. However, there have been some concerns about it as a method for induction. It can cause contractions which are, which are too strong or too painful. And so based on that, uh, among other concerns, this is one of those methods that you don't want to try at home without the help of your healthcare professional or without their advice because you wouldn't know how much to take, how frequently to take it. If you want to use castor oil to, to induce your labor, please speak to your doctor. A study in 2018 found that castor oil was more beneficial in terms of speeding labor along to women who had already given birth vaginally and that this was not their first pregnancy. If you're wondering why castor oil is effective, researchers believe that it's because of being a laxative. And so as it gets things moving down there, it also gets your baby moving. 